In the overview to distribution groups, we discuss the use of expansion servers. Now, a distribution group will simply be expanded on any server in the organization by default. But you might want to change this for distribution groups that you have or dynamic distribution groups that you have if you feel that they're so large that they may hurt the performance of your server. So how would you go about doing this? Well, you would start by selecting the distribution group and going into the properties. So here off the actions pane we have the properties option. You'll notice there's the advanced tab and here the expansion server is any server in the organization. In this case we only have one server in the organization. If you have more than one server a good idea would be to select a hub transport server to offload the intense workload that comes from handling these distribution groups. So you can change that here for the individual group and that will help to relieve some of the impact on performance for a production server. So we hope you found that informative and we'll see you in the next lesson.